Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. Today, I get myself into some hot water. Let's see what we can figure out. Okay, but seriously, today we will be talking about hot water in a house. Take a look at my Build Show Brian Talks video where I talk more about the theory of hot water in the house and how that works. But today, I wanna to tell you what we do in order to solve the problem about how long it can take to get hot water from a tank to the point of use to the tap. Uh, the fact is, like even at my house, it takes minutes in order to get hot water from the tank to where I need to use it. Especially say if it's a, at a vanity that uses lower gallons per minute, number one, because of the actual fixture type, and then number two, because it's a water conserving fixture. So what do we do in our spec homes? By standard practice, we use a hot water recirculation loop coupled with a hot water recirculation pump. We're gonna use this Hike Micro thermographic camera to try to demonstrate it in use. And right now I'm on location at one of our spec homes that hasn't sold yet. So let me walk you through this tank and then we'll actually turn the pump on and see if we can watch that temperature rise. Join me over at the tank. All right, what we do in Washington State typically is install a heat pump water heater. I say in Washington State, not that everybody does that, but really that's the way the energy code is driving us, is to use more heat pump technology. So we've got the heat pump up here, we have a couple of electrical elements in here, but we're focusing on the actual plumbing, the fluid in play. Nice thing is, <laughs> they've labeled where the hot comes in up here, down here, I should say, I'm sorry, where the hot goes out, then here's where the cold comes in. We'll step around to the other side in just a second to show you how that's configured. Now, I'm not really happy about how all the plumbing worked out. It works, I just wish that at rough in, they would have really looked at the unit that was gonna be installed and set everything up so it's nice and clean. Oh well, move on with your life. As we come around, um, I've never heard this expression before like last week, but it was called a boiler drain. But I have used this in the past in order to drain a tank out. Um, so you can utilize this when it comes to the hot water recirculation loop. We'll come back to that, but let's look at how we actually did the plumbing on this house. Okay, you'll see this just a little bit more as we're able to get in closer. But our hot water line enters the house up in here, so it, it loops around. And then our cold water line for that inlet on the water tank comes through here and it feeds through the wall. So basically the outlet and the inlet at the wall are roughly in line. But what we have is this hot water recirculation loop interrupted by this pump that comes back into the cold line. Now what we use is the Taco Comfort 006 E3. It's an ECM motor, electrically commutated. Put simply, it's super energy efficient. In the future, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about an option on this, but the way this house is currently operating is it would be something that's always on. You can run the math on it, it's really not very much, but if you're like me, it kind of agitates the mind to think of a pump running all the time when it really doesn't need to. Again, we'll talk about that in the future video. So what, what is happening is this loop is piped to the furthest fixture away from this hot water tank. So if you had a big circle in a diagram, you would have little branches coming off of this big loop. And again, this is diagrammatic. And then there would be a feed that comes back and you can see we've got a lot of shutoff valves. You probably want a, uh, a backflow preventer to make sure that you don't backfeed if there's a fixture calling for cold water at one of the taps that's close to this. Uh, but in any case, a very low amount of water comes in and it comes into the tank and basically pushes that water through the tank and through the hot water loop. And that's just a constant thing. You want the check valve so that you're, again, not backflowing anything into the house or into the uh, municipal supply. 
I don't think that's really a, a, an issue. There's just not enough going on to back feed into that pressure. In fact, we can take a look here. I happen to have a little pressure gauge. And right now we're sitting about 55 or so PSI. You can see where it's been before. That will change over time depending on what's happening on the pressure side of the municipal system. Now let's use the thermographic camera and see if we can watch it in action. Obviously we have no occupants. This is a spec home that hasn't sold yet. So typically I leave the, the pump off. What I'm gonna do now though is I'm gonna plug it in, let that pump start going, and I'm gonna remove some of the insulation. And then we're gonna use this camera to see how long it takes for that to come back. In the future, I'll probably do a deeper dive into that actual unit. But in any case, you'll see that it does take some time to heat up all of the pipes in the house, uh, as well as have that hot water circulate through the house. And let's go ahead. I'm gonna start using this camera to record. Now this camera is pretty cool. It has a center. You can have it set up for different things. Where that little crosshair is, is at about 63 degrees, 62. The max temp that it's reading is about 65, and the minimum is about 58. All right, we'll go ahead and stop it there. We just topped out at right about 111, 112 degrees. Now for this unit, I've actually got it set for 120 degrees, and it took a little over six minutes to get there. So again, we'll talk about the controls later. It does take a little bit of time. What we've effectively done is we've taken the house water. I've got the thermostats set in there to about 65 degrees. That kind of fits with what we saw earlier. So call it 65 degree water, dumping it into this tank that is set for 120 degrees. So about half of that, uh, but that's still not very, let's see. Yeah, it's not very cold. What that will do though, is it'll dilute the hot water in here. And then eventually the thermostat in here will trip and then the hot water will be heated up. Well, that's how we did this house. Hopefully you thought it was kind of cool to get to see how the heat does actually, or the, the hot water does actually start to flow through. And we'll talk to you more about these cool systems in another video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.